Go. Yep. All right, this is the salin salinity lab. Whoa, I can't speak. <laughs> okay. Hi. Background information, you need to read through that yourself. Uh, here's all your materials. I think on here it says that you need to have a beaker. I have a clear cup for you. You're gonna start out with the first one by filling it half full with just clear water from the sink. All right, in each one of these, you're gonna make sure you read the directions, okay? So in the first one, it says to fill it half full and then fill the medicine dropper with the green water. So you've got all these different colored waters. You've got red, low salt. You've got green, very salty. You've got blue, very salty, no, no, blue tap water, sorry, no salt, and then clear, very salty. So these are the ones you're going to be using. For the first one, you're going to use this and this, and it's gonna have you put a couple of drops in each time, or in just to see what happens. So I'm just gonna bring this up nice and close. Which I, what it, this is why it's important to bring it up close to your own eyes so you can see what you're doing. So as I put oh, the drops perfect. in, you can kind of see what happens to the drops as they go in, okay? Then you're going to then you're going to draw what you see here, draw what you see here, and then you're going to uh, give me your observations in words, okay? Don't tell me why, just tell me what you see. So example. It looks like. Drew that. my picture, and then I wrote. Okay, so you're gonna do that for every page, all the way around. Oh, so got blurry. Part. Right, part two, go. you're gonna do that, follow directions. For part three, it's a little bit different. You'll notice there's these spaces here for you to write your observations, but you're gonna leave the water in here the entire time as you keep adding different drops, all the way down to number seven. You keep drawing your pictures of what you see and write the observations of what you see. These questions are based on your observations. You need to fill those out based on that. Then you're going to go to the second to last pages and you're going to deal with the graphing. So you've got a table and you're going to be graphing that information on the other side. Okay? So you're going to color these in. So let's just take a look at what we have on the data so table. So we're going to color in two different colors of your choice. And then we have our data table. Notice we have latitude to zero, back to 60. On the bottom x-axis, you're going to start at 60, 50, 40, all the way to zero. And then you're going to add, go all the way up to 60 on the bottom. Stay on the large, dark, major grid lines. We have a nice key down here so we know what's going on. Latitude, and I, um, I labeled mine the equator so we, I knew where it was at. We are making a broken bar graph, so we have our symbol. And then I start on the major grid lines, and I start at 30, and I go up to 37. Salinity and parts per million, so PPM. Those are your um, labels on the side. So when we go on back to the, back to the page in front, we have 60, 33, 50, 37.7. 40, 34.8. So my red dots, or my red lines, I'm going to plot them. Mr. Hotchkiss tells me we do not connect them straight because this is a curved line because the salinity is nice and curved. It's not gonna go bam, 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 straight. So we want a nice curve. Second blue line, we're gonna ignore the middle data. We're gonna do 60. 31, 50, 32.5. So we're gonna plot those points and then we're gonna connect those dots very nicely. When you are done with that, you're going to go to the graph follow-up questions on the back page. You're gonna fill all that information out. You're gonna make sure that your name is on it and what day you are, A or B, and you're going to turn it in.